And welcome back. This is a significant week in Civil War history. And Walt, I understand you have some facts and some observations about this week. Yeah, I sure do. This past Monday was Confederate Memorial Day. It is a state holiday. The day is also taken on the dual name of State Employee Appreciation Day. Uh, Texas, Florida, Alabama, North and South Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee also observe Confederate Memorial Days. The date is different in each state, ranging from January in Texas to June in Kentucky and Tennessee, and it's a state holiday in Mississippi, Alabama, and South Carolina. It is commemorated in other states, which means its name's on the calendar, but state employees still have to go to work that day. It used to be observed in Georgia, Louisiana, and Virginia, but those states have just dropped it altogether. Our Mississippi landscape is dotted with Confederate cemeteries. There's a string of them over in East Mississippi where wounded from the Battle of Shiloh were taken by train to any town that could take them in, as many as they could take. And the ones who survived went home, and the ones who didn't are buried there. And these cemeteries stretch from Corinth as far south as Enterprise. Uh, Union troops were mixed in too, but for the most part, the Union dead were reburied in national cemeteries during the years after the war. And other than the Revolutionary War, which created the nation, the Civil War most defined us. It welded us together as an inseparable union. You know, before the war, the name of the country was referred to as a plural, the United States are. But since the Civil War, our nation has been a singular, the United States is, one nation. So the war that defined us is also the war that, you, or the war that divided us is also the war that united us in purpose and resolve for all Americans of all colors, all creeds, all religions, and all nationalities. We are no longer a nation of ours. We are, is this now, singular, united.